I'll tell you how I went from harassing the snooze button and rolling out of bed with 5 minutes to dress for work, to waking up at 4.30am without attempting to hit the snooze button and being excited to do so. Because being a night owl in this world that's built to benefit early risers can be a major disadvantage. Schools and most jobs start early in the morning and it's the first thing most people do besides brushing their teeth and staring soullessly into nothing. So once I finished work and got home, I felt exhausted and had trouble getting myself to do anything else rather than wasting time with effortless habits because most of my productive energy was spent working for someone else. However, I noticed that many of the highly successful people have a habit of waking up early and getting things done even before the majority hit the snooze button for the first time. So in this video, I'll show you how you can be excited to wake up at 4.30 a.m. and why it could change your life for the better. So first, you need to know how much sleep you need to not feel like shit when you wake up and know that you can actually get too much sleep and feel lazy for the rest of the day. The perfect amount of sleep is most often between 5 to 9 hours and I challenge you to set the alarm earlier than normally would to sleep less than usual just to evaluate how you feel. And again, more sleep is not always the solution to stop being tired in the morning. You might actually be better off with fewer hours of sleep. I used to fall asleep around 3 a.m. and have to be at work at 8 a.m. the latest, which gave me only 4 hours of sleep. Needless to say, my energy levels in the morning when I got to work were low, because I had just rolled out of bed after snoozing for about 35 minutes without having time to drink coffee. So now I can comfortably fall asleep around 10 to 11 p.m. and wake up 4.30 and being excited as I get up, and I'll tell you how in a minute. So if you don't know how much you sleep you need already, experiment for a few days until you know what suits you and then you want to proceed to optimize your environment. Eliminate sources of light and try to block it all out. Shove the TV out if you have one in your bedroom and instead pick up a book to read. Preferably fiction rather than business or self-help as that will trigger your brain and you will get all sorts of cool ideas that will hinder you from falling asleep. And there are a lot of techniques you can use to fall asleep faster and wake up fresh. And I've made a video about 6 uncommon tips that will definitely speed this process up. But some more common things or tools you can use that will optimize your sleeping environment is white noise machines. It's a tool that reduces the distracting effect of outside noises for a more relaxing environment. It's almost like a heavenly fan without the breeze, just the sound. And this might sound awful to you, but it's highly effective for falling asleep because you won't notice those weird random noises that you otherwise would be convinced is the ring girl coming for you. Another tool to wake up fresh is to use wake up light alarm clocks. It will wake you up by first turning on a light which will increase in brightness and eventually go over to sounds. Some models have nature sounds and other just normal beeping sounds. And it's a pretty neat way to wake up and it takes away that shocking feeling normal beeping alarm clocks will give you. And if you want to check these products out, I'll leave a link to them in the description. And don't snooze. Don't ever hit that snooze button, man. Come on, you know better than that. I don't have to explain this much further, but just knock fuck out of that alarm clock and let it know who's the boss. And then you want to count from five backwards to zero, like you're taking off with a rocket. And once you reach zero, you're up and away. It really is that simple, and you will be up within 10 seconds of the alarm going off. And there are some beneficial apps you could use, such as Sleep Cycle that measures your movement at night and will wake you up at just the right time to eliminate those groggy mornings where you wake up in the middle of your deep sleep not knowing what is going on. And me personally, I just like to go full savage and place my alarm clock on the other side of the room or in the kitchen with full volume. And once I've bounced out there to turn it off, I just tell myself, don't you fucking dare go back to bed. And instead I turn the lights on, splash water on my face just like that, I'm up and ready to go. And then you need to have a reason. The number one thing for making this habit stick is that you should want to get up, just like you wanted to get up for Christmas as a kid. You can't convince yourself to wake up early just because. There has to be a reason for you waking up. And one thing that gets me to follow any habit is the checklist manifesto. It's such a powerful way of getting things done and it's so easy to implement. 
All you need to do is simply create a list of things you want to do the night before you go to bed and put boxes beside every task. And I'm not sure why it's so effective, but it triggers something inside you that just makes you want to tick that little motherfucker and then you go on to the next one. And instead of trying to wake up early without any reason or purpose, you now have a clear path of where to go. Just like playing a computer game and following the quest to finish the game. So for instance, my first five tasks is to make my bed, do 40 push-ups, drink a full glass of water, have a shot of apple cider vinegar, and then take a walk while listening to an audiobook. And these five tasks only takes me about 20 to 25 minutes to accomplish, and after that I'll make some coffee and then I'm fully awake and go on to do some more productive work, such as working on these videos. And ticking that little box is so relieving and actually doing the tasks becomes almost effortless and the next thing I know I've had the most productive morning ever. And so before I'm at my regular job I'm already in the zone and the how did I even get to work today feeling is long gone. So first you need to know how many hours of sleep you need each night and execute on that. Then optimize your surroundings to fall asleep faster and wake up easier. And don't you dare hit snooze when you wake up and finally have a purpose for getting up. And if you want to be almost as cool as me and listen to audiobooks, you can sign up through my Audible link to the 30 day free trial and get two books for free. And you can cancel the membership anytime and still keep the books. And there you go, make sure to implement this tonight already or since you're probably watching this at 2.42am, try this tomorrow. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.